y'all doing? So I walked around a bit. We had a delicious um, potato, kartoffel puffer, potato pancake, very delicious. But I wanted a bratwurst, walked around for a while, couldn't find one. Finally, right here, I got this delicious bratwurst in Zemmel, mit some pommes, some french fries. We've got the lights coming on. We've got Christmas carols. We're in an old mid medieval city, originally founded by the Romans. Uh, beautiful scenery, some blue vine. Does it get much better? So, um, first Christmas market of 2021 in the books here in lovely Baron Castle Coos. Um, had some delicious glue vine, got some nice souvenir mugs, um, had some delicious iron punch, um, had some bratwurst, some um, roasted salmon, roasted uh, foyer locks, uh, fire roasted uh, salmon sandwich. Uh, some potato cakes, um, lots of stuff to eat and drink, had a great time, bought some souvenirs, bought some little handcrafts, so it was really nice. So the glue vine from um, my perspective, uh, the earlier Christmas markets I went to in Bavaria was always you had one choice, it was red. Um, but here, in a wine, actual wine village, um, where they have uh, wineries here, you have multiple selections, different types of glue vine, white, red, whatever type of wine you want. Um, it's all good, it's all spiced up, it's all warm to uh, warm you up on a cold winter's night. It's always the first weekend of Advent, or maybe it's St. Nikolaus Tag, which is I believe the 7th of December. It's one or the other, but for hundreds and hundreds of years, I don't know how long this tradition has been going on, on that night, um, it's on Friday, there will be like, I don't know, a hundred or so divers that'll swim down this river. We're at, right here on the Mosel. They'll swim into Burn Castle Coos. They're all carrying torches as they swim. It's quite a sight. Uh, we saw it a, a few years ago and they actually swim down the river carrying a torch and then they get out, they come here to the town of Burncastle Coo and they deliver toys to the little kids. So pretty unique. Uh, that is a unique Christmas market uh, event that I don't think anyone else has uh, here in Burncastle Coo. So, uh, if you're in town or if you're in the area, you're visiting Christmas markets, I can highly recommend that you come here and try to come on that weekend when the uh, divers come uh, down, with, down the river with their torches. All right? Thank you. All right, so I want to talk about the castle that sits above Bern Castle Coos for a little bit. Now that is Berg Landschut or Castle Landschut and it was built in the 1200s in the Middle Ages and something I find interesting about this castle, I mean now there's a youth hostel up there, there's a restaurant up there, but something I found interesting about this castle is that in the, um, I believe it was in the 1990s, when they were doing some um, excavations up there, they were doing some work up there, they noticed that that castle was built upon a giant Roman fort. So there was a Roman fort built up there from the first or second century, around 250 AD, I believe. Um, the Roman fort kind of went to ruins, and when they built the castle, 
they just built it and added into built it into actually the roman fort so you've got that castle up there you've got it's a castle from the middle ages from the 1200s and it is built within it or inter interlocked with the castle is a roman fort from around 250 a.d which as a history buff i just think that's incredible very interesting and i never get tired of this type of stuff all right there you go um so yeah so this is our first christmas market hopefully it's not the last of this year we look forward to going to a few more uh after the season really kicks yes. in. we'll put some uh pictures together and i uh, hope you enjoyed our trip to burn castle Coos and it's beautiful little Christmas market here on the Mosul River in Rhineland Falls, Germany.